All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, there is so much tension in the Nigerian media space right now because the CEO of Binance, the cryptocurrency platform that was accused of playing a huge role in the fall of the Naira, has dropped a bombshell. If you recall, officials of Binance were detained in Nigeria by the Office of the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu, and charges were leveled against them. Binance came out as an organization and denied all the allegations. They said they were completely innocent of all the charges leveled against them by the Nigerian government. And this issue has been on for about two months now. But few hours ago, the CEO of Binance, Mr. Richard Tang, made a shocking revelation in a blog post on the Binance website. He alleged that the Nigerian government asked them to secretly pay a bribe of $150 million to kill the matter. And he said they refused because they were completely innocent of all the charges. This revelation has turned the Nigerian media space upside down. Could this be true or not? Before I show you how Binance CEO Mr. Tank accused the Tinubu-led government of demanding bribe and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update. Now, this morning, I told you about the introduction of a 0.5% cyber security tax that has just been introduced again and Nigerians were fuming. But just now, a worse update has dropped. The administration has gone for another $750 million World Bank loan. And the condition for that loan is that our internally generated revenue must increase. Therefore, paperwork is on to further increase every single tax in Nigeria. Resume the ones that were initially suspended and create new ones. Look at how the papers reported it. Tinubu to reintroduce telecom tax on Nigerians to meet World Bank loan condition. Tinubu's government is considering lifting the suspended telecom tax and other fiscal policies on Nigerians to secure a new loan of $750 million from the World Bank. According to a document published by the World Bank, the EMT levy on electronic money transfers through the Nigerian banking system, along with other taxes, is also being considered in addition to the reintroduction of excises on telecom services. Mr. Tinubu suspended the 5% excise duty on telecommunications and the import tax adjustment levy on certain vehicles in July 2023. However, the document revealed that negotiations were underway between the World Bank and the federal government to secure the yet-to-be-approved loan. The document said, Domestic revenue mobilization drive in the government armor program seeks to increase revenue on some targeted industries and sectors of the economy. Specific groups and agencies within affected sectors include the Association of Licensed Telecom Operators of Nigeria, the introduction of excises on telecom services requires that all telecoms are mobilized to fully participate in the collection of such revenue, meaning all telecommunication companies, MTN, Glow, Airtel, will increase their rates drastically. Now, that is for telecommunications. Let's move to banks. Committee of Bankers Introduction of EMT levy on electronic money transfers through the Nigerian banking system would need the buying in of all banking institutions. This means the bank levies will also drastically increase. Now let's move to manufacturers. It noted that the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, manufacturers of tobacco products, sugar sweetened beverages and alcohol beverages that will be required to collect excises on their products are critical stakeholders for the introduction of the new excise regime. This equally means that the prices of tobacco products, milo, milk, and alcohol are going to increase madly in the coming days. Now let's move to importation. Also, 
strategic partners involved in the importation of different items into the country will be mobilized to participate in the armor program. A key stakeholder group is the Association of Nigerian Custom Agents, vehicle importers and manufacturers. Stakeholders in the automobile trade industry must be engaged in reforms involving the introduction of green taxes on high GHG emission vehicles. That is taxes on greenhouse gas emission vehicles. Now, let me stop here because I can't go over the entire sectors of the economy, but that is what they are working on. Taxes increasing across the sectors of the Nigerian economy. And I don't need to tell you that the comment section of this update was burning because we want to take a loan of $750 million. We have to make the country's economy worse to please the World Bank. A loan that the people will not see shishi. The people will not feel the impact in any way. I just hope that this whole suffering would make Nigerians make up their minds to do the right thing. Now, let us look at what the CEO of Binance said about the Nigerian government and how Nigerians reacted. Look at how the papers reported it. Tinubu's government demanded $150 million bribe to make illegal Nigerian charges go away. Binance CEO. Nigerian government officials have been accused of soliciting bribes to the tune of $150 million from global cryptocurrency giant Binance. The firm's executive said on Tuesday, Richard Tank said the Tinubu administration was keen on extracting the large sum from the company in order to make the recent fraud charges go away. Shortly after a meeting was held with Nigerian lawmakers, it was not immediately clear whether or not lawmakers took part in demanding the alleged bribes. The company first disclosed the amount of the bribes to the New York Times. Mr. Tang and other Binance executives have insisted the allegations were meritless and illegal and vowed not to be strong-armed into making any illegal payment. A significant payment in cryptocurrency to be paid in secret within 48 hours to make these issues go away, Mr. Tang wrote in a blog post posted on Binance website Tuesday. The message from the Nigerian government is clear. The Binance's chief executive added, we must detain an innocent mid-level employee and a former U.S. federal agent and place him in a dangerous prison in order to control Binance. Binance had previously informed People's Gazette that it wouldn't yield to any demand to pay a ransom over the matter. A spokesperson for the Nigerian National Security Agency did not immediately return a request seeking comments. A spokesperson for the Nigerian Parliament, which has launched a committee to probe the charges against Binance, declined comments on Tuesday morning. A spokesperson for Binance did not immediately return a request seeking clarification about the identities of those involved in soliciting the alleged bribes. Now, here is the funny thing. This is a mere allegation by the CEO of Binance, Mr. Richard Tang. He hasn't backed it up with a voice note yet. He has not brought out any written document to say, look at the agreement we had, I was going to send the money, nothing like that yet. But as of the time of making this video, at least, at least 5,000 Nigerians from different parts of the country had commented on this matter. And I didn't find one comment. I didn't find just one Nigerian who was bold enough to say our government officials can't stoop to demand bribe from Binance. At least 95% of the comments believe that this allegation is true. The other 5% were just people who were just, you know, indifferent. They couldn't really go straight to express what they meant. This is to show you the shameful state that this country has descended into. Look at the top people. They say they, say he met, they met lawmakers. And now this man is saying they demanded bribe. And Nigerians believe that it actually happened. Look at some of the comments. This tweet here says... This is why this government is battling Binance and other crypto exchanges because they want them to pay $150 million bribe. Look at how they are chasing away investors 
and potential investors. Once again, if you voted in this government, you will not die well. Oh, and this tweet here says, the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians will always be the last thing in the minds of this government. Chai! And there were just comments upon comments, all of them throwing their weight behind Binance on this claim. Why? Is it because they hate Nigeria? No, it is because we know Nigeria. We know our people. As soon as they tell them the net worth of Binance, they will start salivating. The next thing is to start demanding for their own share. Now, this man has gone ahead to tell New York Times, New York Times, that the Nigerian government demanded bribe. You know what this has done to the reputation of this country? Whether they prove this allegation or not. How do you hope to attract foreign investors with all this baggage? It will take extraordinary leadership with integrity and purity to be able to undo the damage that the APC has already done to this country. Anyway, make I leave I'm here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogunga political news where I go like. Why? Because now, because of now, now I day here. So don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away.